let's see. There he is. And there's Nino following Z. Mango, will you just get your head up away, boy? Just bear with us a minute, guys, whilst we just work out the tripod and the best positioning around Mango. Apologies, we couldn't join when we said after an hour later, Hadrian had to go on an emergency call out to go and pick up an injured juvenile um, who's been hit by a car. So we do apologise for that. Um, not much happened in between. Nino did take his first steps out and now he has been out with Z about three times, as you saw just then as well.
Hey guys, thanks for your patience. Nino is currently in the intro cage. Um, we're having a little difficulty with Mango being able to reach the camera so that we can get you a good view of the cage. We're hoping Nino comes out again shortly. Here's Mango, he's an adult male. And these are some mango monkeys you're watching. They're a troop of mango, which is an adult male. And then we've got Z, who is a female ex-pet. It's illegal to keep some mangoes as pets in this country. And then we've got Sachmo. He's a one-year-old. Nino just loves to play with him. And then, of course, we've got Nino, who is an orphan from this year. So Nino's taking a nap inside the intro cage. Oh, Z is taking a nap. Oh, Z is also taking a nap in the intro cage. Hey Mango, you want to be on camera? This boy just won't leave the camera alone. Unfortunately, we're limited in our resources, so hopefully you'll be able to see some of Nino when he goes in the enclosure. Mango came to us as an orphan quite a few years back. He was found alone, but he integrated very well with an adult male who's now passed on and then this mango enclosure was built for them here at the Vervet Monkey Foundation. So oh, Satchmo is the one-year-old over there, and then we've got this nice big enclosure for all of them. And Nino is in the introduction cage on the right-hand side. 
he has taken some steps out, but um, he's been in and out. Yeah, you're right. Mango does act like a baby sometimes. He just loves to sit and watch us. He was hand raised by people because we didn't have any some mangoes at the time other than an adult male. So we couldn't introduce him like we do for the foster mum program. He had to have a um, geriatric Samango monkey actually care for him. So we were, we did keep him longer in human hands than we would have liked to. But it's just because of the dynamics we had here with only having two males. So hopefully we'll be able to be, build this troop. <laughs> Big yawn. And then Nino will be able to have hands off from three months old, which he is now. Just answering a few questions, yes, um, it can be more difficult to place the older ones and integrate them into a troop. Um, we're lucky that Nino is still young. This is Mango. There's Satchmo just running across the one-year-old. Um, but Nino is still young, the monkey we're trying to integrate right now. And uh, it's much easier for them to have much closer bond in the troop. Having said that, we have integrated a lot of adults um, and we're still ongoing integrations with some of them. In response to one of your questions, the juvenile that's going to be collected now, who was hit by a car, um, no, no, no person was harmed, um, just the monkey was harmed and uh, we will wait and see on the condition of the monkey when he arrives. So it did interrupt the integration a little, so I do apologise for that with the live stream, but hopefully the monkey will be collected and we can rehabilitate him back into his troop in the wild. You can see Satchmo there. Satchmo is a one year old, he loves to play with Nino. Satchmo's come to say hello now. <laughs> there he is, our one-year-old. Very playful. Cheeky chap.
Thank you. Mango showing off to you guys. He just loves to play. He knows that a lot of people are watching him. There's a lot of people on here watching him and he's just doing his best and look at Satchmo jumping on his back. I think Mango's jealous and he thinks it should have been called the Mango Integration, not the Nino one. Looking at some of the questions, um, we do get some older ones that were pets. Like I say, it is illegal to keep some mangoes as pets in this country. They are indigenous to South Africa. Um, sometimes people do give them up early from a young age because they can become aggressive and they're not ideal to keep in a house, of course, because they belong in the wild. So we do have ex-pets come in that are more difficult to integrate when they're older, but we do manage it. It's much better if people do find us a mango or vervet monkey, that they can get it to us as soon as they can. It does help their rehabilitation process and so they don't get too attached to the people that have been caring for them. They do uh, kind of get their inherent fear of people back um, when they're with a the troop. Then they do tend to actually be scared of us, even though we've been human carers, if they're below three months of age. These two are having great fun. This is all play behaviour. Sometimes they can play quite rough, the mangoes. Especially mango. Sorry guys, we're trying to get some close-ups for you without the fence line. Do bear with us, our technical person isn't here right now, so it's me trying to film them for you so you can at least see some action.
Uh, we, in answer to your question, we do have Z as well, who's an adult female, but there's not many in this enclosure, so we only have four. So Nina is the fourth one to join because we don't have many Savangos come in, but we are building a troop. Thanks, Tana. <laughs> Mango's heard noise. Yes, this is the start of a new troop, you're quite correct. Um, so with only, with only having a few of the mangoes in, in here, that's, you know, mango is just in front of my, in front of the camera the whole time, this is mango. <laughs> um, so we are building a troop from scratch, basically, with these guys. It started off with um, mango and Z, and then Satchmo joined, and then Nino is joining as well. The name of the new troop, um, if, sorry, such my pressing buttons. The name of the new troop is called the Jalamango Troop. It was named by um, two previous volunteers. You might just about to hear all the soft noises they make. This is during play. It's not aggression. Um, if it's aggression, it will be a lot louder and uh, probably involves some screaming and defensive screaming as well.
So Mango has been in with Nino. Um, he's been in quite a few times with Nino and most of the time he's been quite calm. Um, it is a confined space so it's a bit, bit more risky introducing an adult male to a baby inside but um, he has been in. So now it's now it's time for Nino to meet Mango outside and he's got a lot of places he can run and play and hide in the grass if he wants to as well. Um, and Mango does like to sit in the intro cage and not get out. So it makes it more difficult for Nino to have a safe space. <laughs> you can just see Mango's dentition there. Now that you've seen the Mango and Satchmo show, we're going to just take you on a walk to see what Nino's up to in the intro cage so you can see a bit of Nino today. So this is the introduction cage that Nino has been in. Jason, our integration staff over there leading the integration. And then there's Nino. There he is, the little boy. And then we've got Z at the top. We're just waiting for Nino to go out again. So you can see the door is open there. It's been open all day long for him to go in and out as he likes. But he has so much fun in the intra cage. He loves his corn cobs. He loves playing on the branches, pulling Z's tail, eating food. Um, so he's had a lot of fun in here today. And he probably doesn't make much difference between his intra cage and the enclosure right now. That's the problem with filming Nino. He loves to jump at the camera. <laughs> And his face always gets in front of the camera. A very sweet little boy, around three months old. Came into us as an orphan. He also had a bout of ringworm as well, which is a fungal skin infection that we had to treat him for. But it looks to be all cleared up now. I know some of the people watching earlier were actively involved in Nino's care um, as volunteers, so thank you so much for caring for him and getting him to this stage. It's always a great reward when you can see them finally go out into the troop and play with their friends as other monkeys should do, rather than be in human hands. I 
and he's a very playful boy. So we have these cage door signs. You'll see they've got their details on there. So Mango was born in 2015. Z, a year earlier, 2016. And Sachmo was, of course, 2019. And Mango was found on the road, side of the road, just a few weeks old. He lived with other older males, Sammy and Charlie, who were here, that now passed on. And Z was handed over in 2018 as an ex-pet. She had a broken arm when she came in. And Sachmo was found alone. And it was handed over to us by Chimpedon, which is another Parza sanctuary. So they're only in these introduction cages temporarily. It is kind of like a three metre by three metre cage, but it is temporary until they can go out into the big enclosure. And here comes Sachmo inside the cage with him. So if any of you would love to come out and volunteer, we're still looking for volunteers. South Africa borders are open and we really do need the help for these little guys. So you saw we had to even stop the live stream earlier because some Hadrian had to go out and fetch a juvenile that had been hit by a car. Um, to be In order for us to be able to watch these monkeys, we do need people around the outside to make sure that they're safe, to make sure we can see them drinking from the feeding cage. And just to check that they're generally okay they do need to learn the electric fence too, so sometimes they might climb up it. So we have to always be careful about their safety. Um, and if their adrenaline is high enough, it's possible they can jump through the electric fence. They don't tend to do that unless there's something, some emergency going on that they want to get away from. So Nino was playing too close to the water bowl, so he got a bit wet, so he's all scruffy. You see these, these boys play rough. If you guys watching have any questions, do feel free to ask and we'll try and do our best to respond to them as we're doing the live stream today. We can't get too close to the fence when Z's inside because she is an ex-pet and uh, she can be aggressive and it can also disturb the integration so we don't want to upset Nino too much or Z. We want it to go as smoothly as possible without our interference.
Thursday now. <laughs> Come to say hello. Yes, it's your integration, not mangoes. Because he, Z's a little bit upset with mango, um, Satchmo for some reason, but they're back playing again. There's Nino. <laughs> and Z. They do love swinging on each other's tail. Earlier Nina was swinging on Z's tail and now Satchmo is swinging on Z's tail. She's very tolerant actually. Okay, it was Ian search my out. Let's see if Nino follows. Hi Pam, thanks for joining us. Um, it is going well, so Nino has been out a couple of times, but now they've all kind of come in and playing in the introduction cage again. But yes, it's gone gone very well. We were hoping he'd go out a bit quicker, but you know, you can't plan these things with wild animals and monkeys, so we are patient with them. He's spent a lot of time playing. We've also had the Mango and Satchmo show going on. They've been playing and... Uh, Mango's been playing with his tail and all sorts. And Nino also was playing in the water bowl at some stage. Yay Pam, that would be wonderful if you could volunteer. That would be fantastic. Um, yeah, we really need the help right now. It's been one year of just having our staff team, basically. They've done an awesome job, but uh, it's been tough. Tough with the long hours with uh, all the babies coming and going. Another juvenile arriving later today. So it'd be amazing if a few people could come out and volunteer. 
that would definitely take the pressure off and of course uh, get to have an amazing experience at the same time. So we really hope you can join us. Hey Joan, yes, Mango was first in the Disneyland area. The Disneyland area is actually named as a play area. Um, it's where all the babies first go and they just join in and play with the other babies in there. Um, it's after they, they go there after their three day quarantine period. And then they go to have a lot of fun and socialization and get to know climbing branches and so on in the Disneyland area. So yes, Mango, Mango was in there before, um, as was Nino. Uh, well, Nino was only in the booth, actually. He was in quarantine because he had a ringworm infection. Um, and then he came straight to Jellamango so that he could meet meet the some mangoes in the troop down here. If anybody enjoys what we do and hasn't voted yet for us, uh, you'll see in the comments there that we've posted a uh, place that you can actually vote for us because that means we can actually, if we if we within um, the top so many, then we'll be able to actually get some extra funding to help these little guys. So please do take 30 seconds and vote if you can. Um, and also do please share the link. That'd be wonderful. Thank you. Um, yes, no doubt we're probably going to do a bit of maintenance on the intro cage once they're finished with it. They're quite a boisterous bunch. Um, they do like to jump and break branches and all sorts of things, but uh, they do have a lot of fun doing it, so we don't mind. Pam, being a qualified veterinary nurse, yes, that would be amazing. You can come and help with our meds. We do use a combination of veterinary medicine and also um, herbal medicine and food supplements as well. Uh, so it's great if we can have vet nurses that can come and help and see what we do. It's not always easy to get the monkeys to take their food. Also with the deworming medicine, it's not easy to get them to take it. We have to try all sorts of things like bread and banana sandwiches, jam sandwiches, peanut butter sandwiches, um, all sorts of things. We we try, um, we try Millie Mill and Pap and uh, yeah, whole combination. The one one monkey, Quinn, who's an ex-pet, is actually taking one of his veterinary medicines on uh, Marmite at the moment because the medicine itself is bitter, so it can help hide the taste. Oh, he was thinking about going out then. <laughs> yeah, the some mangoes do make interesting sounds. They make chirps and uh, mango, now that he's an adult, he does make like a boom call, which is a location call. It's a very deep call. There goes Nino. Yes, go on, Nino. Just outside. Okay, I'm glad you guys got to see him go out. That's amazing, followed by Satchmo. But um, he does come in and out. We leave it to his own accord. That's fantastic that you can see him. And he's in. At least you guys got a chance to see him going out. And you can see he just... It was as if the intricate action cage is part of his enclosure, so he kind of just rolled and tumbled out after the, after the satchmo, so they could have a good play, taking the first few steps out. 
and that's what we want we want to make it um, as natural as possible for them we want him to feel comfortable in his new home Me and I just saying hello to you guys. Another few steps out and in again. It's progress. Meanwhile, the juvenile has just arrived in sick bay, and our staff member Laura is caring, caring for is going to be caring for the juvenile um, amongst the rest of the team. And she was hit by a car, but is awake and alert. Is the latest report. Um, so we're just going to keep our noise, the noise down around sick bay area, so that she can recover. And we're hoping that she'll be able to be returned to her troop in the wild if we know the exact location that the monkey was found. Hey, Laura's here, she's just going to update you guys um, for the reason, obviously, you had to wait so long for the live stream with the juvenile. Do you want to update the supporters, Laura, and just say how, how the juvenile's doing? Yeah, so she just arrived maybe 15 minutes ago. Um, we brought her in the sick bay, me and Mark, and she's already pretty much completely wide awake like normal. Um, looks like she's recovered pretty well from the concussion. Um, she was stuffing her face with some bananas and grapes and... For being a wild monkey, she isn't too stressed, um, but yeah, we'll just keep an eye on her, observe how she goes over the next few days, and hopefully she'll be all good. Brilliant, thank you. It's a relief. <laughs> yeah, we're always, always relieved when we have, uh, when we hear about hit by cars, you know, it can be a lot of internal damage, you don't always know at first glance, um, so the main thing is to treat them for shock when they first come in and also treat any concussion, um, keep them in a quiet area, 
and uh, rehydrated so that we can see if there's anything, any other treatment needed. That's so far so good for the little one. Hiding them. You can see there Z gave him a big hug, which is great. This is all good progress for Nino. Hey Pam, so with Nino it makes four Samango monkeys that we have here. Just replying to some of the comments, um, yeah, they certainly are hardy little ones. And uh, if you saw some of the wounds they give each other in mating season, and then they're actually healed up in 10 days, it's actually quite amazing. If we suffered some of their wounds, I think we'd be in hospital. But uh, yeah, they they are wild and they do fight for their hierarchy, the males. Um, so they are quite incredible healers, which makes our life a lot easier. 
um, but of course you do get those that are severe um, or especially ones that are shot by pellet guns and that type of thing which of course is man-made and it makes it much difficult much more difficult for us to treat such as the blind monkeys Sometimes you want to know about um, treating monkeys, so just going to say that if we, for example, pull out an alpha male in mating season, then it can cause big problems with behaviour if they then return to the group. Uh, so we do have to be careful what we do. It's not just a case of treating with medicines or surgery. We have to kind of weigh up, is it going to be detrimental in the long term to the troop dynamics in terms of are they going to actually then have to stay out of the group or can they actually remain in the group so we do have to take everything into consideration also sometimes they don't like taking their meds and then we have to say okay is there an inject injectable version of it um what are they going to eat it on are they going to finish the course of antibiotics for example and is the antibiotics going to weaken their immune system and kill off the gut flora and therefore do we put them on a course of probiotics for example so there's lots of different questions that we have to ask before treating monkeys and it's not always as straightforward and a lot of the wounds will heal themselves like they do in the wild but of course we will um, take them to the local vets if we need to or um, one of ourselves or the vet nurse that's here will also give an assessment. We've got a bit of a fight there. <laughs> So tonight, basically, if Nino doesn't stay out in the enclosure, which is probably unlikely as it's quite late in the day, it's around four o'clock in the afternoon here, and it tends to get dark around six, um, then he will be staying overnight on night shift um, <laughs> if he doesn't stay out in the trees. If he does stay out in the trees, then basically the staff will come and do late night checks on him. And then again, first thing in the morning at dawn, he'll come to see that he's OK and we'll do another full day monitoring tomorrow. Hey Lucky, um, we're doing the integration today so they won't have any plates inside, they're just going to have them outside today. So if you have a plate, you can give it to Jason. So 
So we're going to be strategic and put some food outside of the door because it's not a big troop, so it shouldn't cause any fighting. But we're going to put it outside so that Nino can see that he can go and get his food outside now instead of inside. So we're just giving the food to the outside troop. Lucky, one of our local staff. Say hi Lucky, you're on film. <laughs> He's just going to give out the main feed now to the troop. So Z can be a bit aggressive to our local staff and she's in the intra cage, so Lucky's happy about that. She's just a bit intimidating, that's all. Mango's going to choose his own today. <laughs> And we're hoping this encourages Nino to go out. Mr. Such made enjoying his dinner. And Nino's also out. Just see him outside the door eating with Z.
Okay, guys, thanks for watching. We're going to end the live stream there. So hopefully you've see, at least seen Nina go in and out of a few times. Thanks for your comments. Thanks for your questions and all your support. Uh, we'll see if we can do some more live feeds very shortly. But uh, for now, thanks for checking in and uh, stop by next time. And don't forget to watch our YouTube videos. And if you could vote for us in that link, that would be amazing. Okay, thanks, guys.